and weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Ramirez, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. We're expecting very cold conditions as we head into tonight into tomorrow morning. Temperatures are expected to fall into the upper 20s with wind chills filling about 18 to 23 degrees. Make sure to protect people, pipes, pets, and plants as we head into those overnight hours. Due to the precipitation that we're expecting, we are expecting to see a wintry ice sleet threat for us here in San Angelo and for most of the Concho Valley. So it's hazardous could be uh, driving could be hazardous as we head into the next several hours, mainly for Wednesday morning there. Looking at the last 24 hours, our temperatures were definitely Definitely very warm this morning in the upper 60s. As that cold front came through the area, we dipped down to the 50s. Now we're down into the low 40s. Eventually, our temperatures will start tumbling down into below freezing, mainly after midnight there. But looking right now, we are seeing at temperatures at 42 degrees, mostly cloudy conditions, winds out of the north northeast at 17 miles an hour. Looking at those temps across the state of Texas, 23 in Amarillo, 30 in Lubbock, you're able to distinctly tell where that cold front is as it continues to move towards the south there. Still 85 degrees in Del Rio. Across Across the state of Texas, in terms of that radar, we are seeing snow already starting to fall into the Texas panhandle there. Uh, winter storm watches and advisories and expect for us here across the state of Texas. As we look at a closer picture, those areas that are in pink are definitely under that winter storm warning. Winter weather advisory for us here in San Angelo, much encompassing much of the Concho Valley as we head into the next several hours there. That's going to be lasting until 6 p.m. You're able to see some showers in place that are currently making their way from the west there with a little bit more heavy rain in some locations in around Sterling City and our western counties. Of course, temperatures are expected to remain in the 40s for the most part, at least until midnight. And then our main threat for that below freezing temperatures beyond midnight, around 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Heavy snow expected for areas north of the Conjo Valley from Winters, Robert Lee and Sterling City up to the big country. They're expecting that heavy snow threat. Not really going to cause too much driving hazards, but we are going to be expecting to see that ice, sleet, and snow mix. That's where we're starting to expect more of a hazardous traveling conditions for us here across the Conjo Valley. And here's what we know. We know that those temps will drop below freezing around 2 a.m. to 3 a.m., probably around 5 a.m. there. That rain will definitely start switching over to that winter mix. We're going to have an ice sleet threat as we head into the early morning hours and then that's going to change over to snow as we head into 9 a.m. 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Of course, greater travel hazard for us here from in San Angelo to the south of the area. We can expect of up, up to a tenth of an inch of ice accumulations and uh, probably about a half an inch to an inch of snow accumulations as we head into tomorrow morning there. Looking at that future cast, we're going to continue to see most of those scattered showers and isolated storms for our western counties. Temperatures remaining in the mid 40s at least until 10 30 p.m. as we head into Wednesday morning around 3 o'clock. That's where we're going to start seeing those temperatures fall below freezing for us here. All of that rain is going to be switching over to ice and sleet mix. Snow for our northern areas, temperatures in the low 30s. That's where when you see those pink areas. That's where you're going to start seeing those hazardous driving conditions heading into tomorrow morning. More ice sleet expected at least until 5.30 a.m. That's going to eventually switch over to snow going from 9 a.m. to 10 o'clock in the morning with temperatures in the 20s, 31 for us here in San Angelo. We could get some of that snow bands as we head into around tomorrow morning around 9, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning as we go into the next several hours there. Uh, but looking at that potential snowfall for us here all across the Concho Valley, we can expect up to a half an inch to an inch of snow. Other areas to the north, up to five inches expected for our northern areas, mainly from San Angelo to Sterling City, from Ozona to the Ballinger line there as we head into the next several hours. But looking at that precipitation type, we are expecting you see more hazardous driving conditions when you're seeing, when you're dealing with that freezing rain and sleet there. So if you are driving about, try hazard driving is not really expected. Just definitely keep that steering wheel straight. If you are in a hazardous situation, do not brake. Take that foot off the accelerator and slow down if you are dealing with sliding conditions if you're driving. Looking at that extended future cast, expect to see those temperatures once again warm up to for this weekend. Sunny skies expected for Thursday. Thursday. Going into Sunday, we can expect to see those increasing clouds. Another weather system is expected as we head into next Monday and Tuesday. Tonight, those temperatures very cold, 27 degrees. Showers turning to a wintry mix mainly after 12 a.m. and then eventually into snow. Winds out of the north northeast at 10 to 15 miles an hour. Going into tomorrow, tomorrow topping it at 34. That morning sleet, ice, snow mix is definitely going to be in the picture.